FBI arrests D.C. Council Member Tryon White The FBI arrested D.C. Council Member Tryon White Sr. on Sunday, according to the council's chairman and two other people familiar with the matter, in a sudden move against the unorthodox, two-term Southeast Washington leader that appeared to take other city officials by surprise. The circumstances of the arrest and the nature of the allegations against White a Democrat who represents Ward 8 in southeast Washington and appeared on track to win a third term in November, were not immediately clear. The FBI's Washington field office declined to comment, and a representative for the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington did not immediately return messages. Frederick D. Cook Jr., White's attorney who has represented a number of city officials over the years, including former Mayor Marion Barry, said Sunday evening he had not been able to speak with White. I am trying to get in contact with him and speak to my client and decide how we are going to proceed, Cook said. White and his chief of staff did not immediately return messages. Antony's Ruffin, White's campaign treasurer, said she did not know anything about the arrest, nor had she been aware that White was under investigation. White is expected to appear in federal court Monday, according to multiple officials, who spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss a criminal matter that has not yet been made public. White has served since 2016 as council member for Ward 8, where about one quarter of residents live below the poverty line and, after decades of racism and divestment east of the Anacostia River. Gun violence is commonplace. White is known by some for his boots-on-the-ground activism, and he often shows up at crime scenes when his community is hurting but he is also no stranger to controversy. He posted a video that espoused a conspiracy theory that Jews controlled the weather, a statement for which he has since apologized. In response to concern about crime, he once called for the National Guard to come into D.C. Two years ago, he led an unsuccessful and haphazard mayoral campaign that was launched through an Instagram comment, spurring an inquiry from the Office of Campaign Finance. He lost in the primary with less than 9% of the vote. White saw two challengers for his seat in the June Democratic primary. He won, but his victory was tainted by a dispute with the campaign finance office involving two of his previous political campaigns. Earlier this year, the office fined White $40,000, writing that the committees for his 2022 mayoral campaign and 2020 re-election campaign had, at various points, failed to provide requested documentation to correct discrepancies involving thousands of dollars of reported expenditures and contributions. That included $58,000 from his mayoral campaign for which the campaign finance office said was not properly accounted. In May, a spokesperson for the office said White had appealed the fines associated with his 2020 campaign and that the issues with the 2022 campaign had not yet been resolved. Spokespeople at the office did not immediately return requests for comment Sunday. Still, before the Sunday arrest, White was expected to cruise to a third term in November's general election, and top city officials, including Council Chairman Phil Mendelson D., said they were unaware that the FBI had been investigating the councilman. White was arrested Sunday in the Navy Yard neighborhood where, according to the building's receptionist, he was staying in a luxury apartment high-rise with studio units that cost upward of $2,000 a month. A resident of the building said he saw about 10 FBI agents outside around 2.30 or 3 p.m. Mike Stock, who lives in the same apartment complex as White, said he saw FBI agents making their way into the building carrying cylindrical battering rams. By Sunday evening, there was no obvious sign of police presence outside of the apartment building. But next to the high rise was a silver Tesla with the license plate. Council member Ward 8 across the Anacostia River. It was similarly quiet at the address listed for his campaign, re elect Tryon White Sr., in campaign finance records. And downtown at the John A. Wilson Building, where the council meets and White has an office, the doors were locked with only a few cars parked outside. U.S. Justice Department guidance says officials should not take any public steps such as making arrests or serving subpoenas, in investigations involving politicians and candidates in the 60 days before an election. The guidance is intended to ensure that political investigations are not used to influence elections. White does not face any serious challengers in the heavily Democratic ward in November, and the election is more than 60 days away.